So going on from where we left off. Yeah, it's a nice rainy day outside, no roofing today. So I'm gonna be working on this thing, which is a lot more fun. Anyways, yeah. This here, as you can see, I made a, made a inch and a quarter. I'm still gonna come forward an inch and a quarter on the cab. So I just traced went along here trace that round and I'm just gonna tack this these rockers are gonna get a, gonna get replaced then this side's actually pretty solid but I'm just gonna replace all of them well we'll see about that one might as well though yeah for now I'm gonna cut that out and slide it forward another inch and a quarter Gonna cut the top out a bit more and tack it to the cab. Get it all squared up. Make sure nothing is out of whack. Go ahead and weld these puppies up here. Needs to go in a bit. Same on that side. Get those welded up and then probably get this tacked up so everything stays. Masking, triple layered masking tape over all the glass so it doesn't get burnt by grinding and welding. Yeah, I tacked it down in that corner right there. And down there, uh, went ahead and I cut, cut the back of that front cab off. That's what we have right now.
Um, now I'm going to figure out how much of this I need to move towards the back to make it fit, like how much I need to chop out of the door. These gaps are about a quarter inch. This measures three feet. So we have a quarter inch gap for the doors. So quarter inch on both sides makes 35 and a half. That's it. thing is I had to cut it I couldn't cut it any farther back because of this mechanism for the window I wanted to stir this off uh, the outside is cut now I gotta figure out um, oh that's all gonna fit together this has to be moved all the way in here. But right now this cut here is outside cut is an inch and a half shorter. That will give enough room for all this to get welded back on. So what I did is I got my outside cut right once and then I'm going to deal with the inside afterwards. Uh, as of now that's what I would recommend doing anybody out there do one of these. Cut. Uh, mess with the structural integrity of it too much. But yeah, what it is, is I cut the outside right once. The other side, I have to take this same amount out. So the inside matches up with the outside. Flip it over.
So I need to take out five inches. Five inches. So I'll just step very close. Five inches out of this side. Well, actually, this part will get cut out here. Five inches. Go ahead, go ahead and just cut it straight across there and then we'll fill this. We'll have to join this together later. And we're only cutting the inside skin, not the outside. So this. Yeah, so it comes over to here. I'm going to open that seam up there so we can slide it in. But let's get it cutting. Welding it in. Here's a little trick you can use. If you got too wide of a gap, use a coat hanger, a metal coat hanger, and use it for your metal fill. Works really good. Use it wherever I need to for metal fill. This right here is the back part of the front cab. As you can tell, that's where the gas cap was. I uh, cut the, drilled the spot welds out. And cut out what I need because this piece here will go on the back door to make that curve that's the back door shorten that down so this is gonna go something like that right there should work. I know it's gonna work. Right there. I'm gonna tack that in, cut that out, whatever I have to, to make that fit. <clears throat> I think yeah, I think that's gonna have to be actually bent out a bit. According to that, it needs to come out a good quarter inch to half, but then yeah, this gets crimped around. I'll show you when I'm done. I'll cut all this off. That gets crimped around. Got it pretty close to right.
And the inside. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, the door is tacked on the truck on the bottom. Two bottoms in this corner. And it's lining up pretty good. It's definitely going to take some tweaking here and there. That's basically the A pillar from the front. And I, I didn't take a video of notching all this because it's too back and forth. I had to take the door off like four times until I got this cut right. It's really close. Looks like the bottom I can keep all all three bolts, but the top I had to trim this all over here. This flange there. I went and cut that off so that clears. There's not much clearance, but the door gap should be good. Had to tap this outside bevel there. I had to tap that down a bit. Trying to look here where it's hitting. It's right here. This needs to be cut out. Another, just a tad here. Probably hack this corner off just so we can weld that in there and shave this down a bit. Then we will, I'm going to go ahead and weld it in, <clears throat> probably weld a strap, roll a piece of metal across here, so it's basically tacked here, tacked here, and a piece of flat steel here to keep it from flipping open, then we can tack this up here. Then we should be able to open the door. Moment of truth. First time trying to open it. There we go. Looks like this when it opens, it wants to go in and go into that so this here I believe will have to be I can't focus there uh, I believe this will have to be moved up just a tad needs more clearance there and it needs to be straight in so when that turns it has room. It won't take much. About a quarter, about a half inch of swing. Either that or this has to be brought down just a bit. My brain right now trying to figure out this B pillar. Well, we'll see. Yeah, thanks for following along on this crazy endeavor of mine. Um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart as far as figuring all this out but I hope you guys enjoy watching me figure it all out and make something unique so something that I like
yeah. Thanks for following along. Like and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll figure this out. And I'll be back. See you.